Greetings viewers, welcome back to the Vengeance channel. Uh, last video I did for Gathering for Profit did pretty well, so I think I'm going to do another one. And I feel like playing games, so I'm actually going to do a Gathering for Profit, not a tax-free video. So this is just be me trying to go and do some gathering. First I got to clear my inventory, uh, this event's been going on for a while. Uh, they ended it, so I'm just gonna dump all this, all these items to get more space. At 119 of those, so that's quite a bit of silver, uh, like 600 million. There's another event started, which is those. I'm actually gonna put my armor on because I think where we're going is gonna be. A little bit of a journey to get there. Um, they wolf me one that I did about a week ago. Crashed. Wolf me now has 114,000 on stock. So I'm going to look at. Highest price to lowest price on meat, and I just find what I want to gather. Most, if you're looking for a lot of meat, hunting is better than gathering, uh, but I'm not big on the hunting life skills, so I just come down through here. There's no way to hunt lion meat, but it's going for 27,000 each, actually 29,000, there's 250,000 pre-orders. So that's a good thing to be, be gathering. I'm pretty sure I got everything that I need, inventory clear. I'm gonna jump on the horse. And it's a bit of a ride. Uh, you can either go across the desert or you can let your horse auto run over here, but over here on the coast is where you wanna be at in this general area. Uh, the lines are here, so I'm just, Actually, let me just... No, I don't want to click on that. I'm going to get us to there, and I'm going to start us off. Let my horse auto sprint. Now, if you need to know rotations and stuff, I have... I have a Chrome page that uh, I look at for rotations, so here, let me turn that on real quick. Here is the site. It's on MMO Sumo. Uh, it's video gathering for profit location, rotation line meet. They do a full guide on it. They also tell you not to sell line meat. That's if you're big on cooking. And that's also when the price was 14,000 silver when they did this. Uh, they, they talk about making King of Jungle hamburger. Which, you know, that's fine, if that's what you want to do with it, uh, but being that there's 250,000 pre-orders, hey, you can just go gather and sell it on the market, especially since the the uh, value pack was free and you got 20 days of it recently. Now, the horse, the lines will aggro on your horse, that's why they say to use your horse. Then they explain gear. I tell you all about the horses and stuff. Uh, more gear, but here is why I bring this up: is this right here? These are the rotations. I can go here and read this, but you got one main rotation here, which is like right on where the little line icon is and then you got a couple secondary rotations further north and to the west it's going to take a little bit for me to ride over there so i'll just kind of scroll through this and that's all they wanted on there uh, main idea though is that you can't actually use the hunting skill for lions and it's way out in the middle of the desert so it takes a little bit to get there which, you know, and 
the King of the Jungle hamburger is pretty profitable. You can see by judging by their uh, thing, but like I said, I think this was done quite a while ago, so the prices are not quite up to date. Switch back to the game screen here. King of Jungle Hamburger goes for 67,000 with those, uh, but that's what it does. Basically, a grinding buff. I like cooking, but if you look at everything that goes into cooking on this, I still think for me, four line meat, three nutmeg, four tough bread, two pickled veggies. Pickled veggies are not hard to make. You just need vinegar, which is not hard to make, that junk. You buy those two from the NPC, and then you just need eight of some kind of uh, vegetable. So vinegar's easy. Teff bread. Uh, you gotta have teff, and then uh, the three things come from um, the NPC. So those two aren't bad. Uh, that is something you have to gather, and then the line meat. None of those are very hard to get. It's just a little bit of time consuming. Um, I don't use those when I grind. Maybe it's just because I don't grind higher end spots, but I think that a lot of people do. And if you're heavy into cooking, then it's probably worth your while to save the lion meat and just cook it instead of sell it. We're about halfway there. It's not taking too long. The reason I put my armor on is coming up. Uh, we got to run through the bandit the area with all the Gahas bandits, and they always do a ton of damage. There's a lot of dead air in a video where you're just riding the horse to get over there. I mean, I guess usually people that stream would would cut this kind of stuff out. But I don't like to cut this stuff out of the videos because... Any, I mean, I could, I could edit it out and then jump from one spot to the next. But I like to show actually going to where I need to be. So you can just skip forward if uh, this kind of thing bothers you or bores you and you want to actually see the rotations and stuff. Might be able to speed this up some. I can get the sprint and the drift to work like I want it to. Here's the bandits that we gotta run through. Oh. skill gear on one time. Lost myself a few trade crates doing that. I 
want to go that way. I want to go this way. Good thing about the lions are they're not in the actual desert, so you can ride your horse around. They're just on the edge of it. No, oh, I don't want to fall off of there. A little bit of a detour. screen to look at. We're going here. Yeah, yeah. There are three different rotations, but I'm doing the one that's furthest to the east. few packs of lions while I get to where I need to be. That was one we just ran by. Switch over to the life skill gear. Okay, get out the knife. Put it on. Okay, so here is the first big pack. Of course, they're all gonna come running. They're pretty aggro. And. We get quite a few at a time, depending on your mastery, but I said before, I haven't leveled up any at 14.30, so not the highest in the game, but not too bad either. This is going to be easier to do it off the mini map, of course. So we're on this little. We're about where number nine is on the thing, so if we go this way just a bit, there should be a few more here. So those camels. Pretty sure we already got the ones that roam around here again. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go this way over this hill. Should be a few up here. There's one. That is not the pack that I wanted, but it'll do for that. Go this way. Here is the second one.
these lines hit fairly hard. So having life skill gear, gear on poses a problem if you don't kill them outright. I missed a couple of my skills on a couple of them. So I get hit pretty hard. Okay, so we're up here. Around where the trees are, and we need to go back this way. And it's just a kind of a circle area. Come on, horse. So the next stop is that way over there. Past the elephants. Up here on top of this hill. Of course, I don't know anybody that buys Lion's Mane. I'm not really sure what. things that I didn't want. Line hide. I think Lion's Mane is just the NPC item. Yeah. Okay, there's that little pack there. Next one is down. What's the south? So, this way. Should be right down here. Used to, there was a lot of people that would gather the line meat over here like this. However, recently I haven't really seen anybody doing it. I mean, which is good, it makes it profitable for people to do. Right, next one is that way, past those elephants. Ooh, there is somebody over here gathering. I don't really know why, but... This is the next pack here. And then uh, from here, we just go straight uh, northwest, that way over there, and hook up with that uh, first pack that we did. There's a couple in between. But by the time you get through all of your energy, if you've got a significant amount, said I'm about average I've only got 461 I don't have near the cap I think the cap's like 620 or 630 and if they go ahead and add the winter region that um, they were supposed to be adding yeah that's gonna go up so here's the next little two or three If you're following the map, this is the uh, pink rotation. The one furthest to the southeast. Um, and this will be... There's a seven in the bottom right corner. This is the six that's up from that. And if we go on up, we should hit the nine. This should be right over this hill. Which is where we started at.
So not too bad of a rotation for gathering uh, if you got a fairly fast horse and you don't actually need a fast horse. There's that event item that they've put in. I haven't uh, participated in that event yet. This is my really first time playing since maintenance yesterday. Just off the first rotation at 430 mastery, 1430 mastery. We're already at 597 line meat, which you know, round that to 600, you're looking at quite a bit of silver just for the more, you know, the more effort than than we put in there. There should be a pack right here. There it is. Let the horse round it up. This should be far left point number six on the map that I showed you on that site. Come on, horse. And from here, you want to head that way towards that. Let's get the map line along here. So from here we go this way. Should be on the other side of these rocks. Now that's why they this they uh, in the guide they say to use a horse because they will flock to the horse and attack the horse. It groups them up faster, it's a lot easier. On that horse. That's the only downside. Sometimes you gotta move the horse out of the way. Okay, from here, I want to continue this way. I'm doing this rotation twice. So you should be right around here. You might have missed one. This is a smaller pack here. up real quick. The next one should be down here and a little bit to the right. mention again that I am using the hedgehog a little pay to win guy he gives you that double proc that you see most of the time that's why I'm getting two sections of meat instead of just one okay that is the outward corner Number four and number six, that's the number six. So from there, we want to go this way, just over this hill. It's like our horse missed some of them. As they walk around, they'll probably get over here. This 
is why I like being a wizard. Chain lightning. Doesn't do too much damage, but it's good for gathering up mobs. Alright, so... Another straggler there. Alright, so this is the bottom most seven on the map. So we want to head this way across this little sand area. There's a few here. Does that guy, he lost aggro, but that's fine. I'm not trying to do a perfect rotation. I just wanted to get through it a couple times quickly to show off uh, where to do it at. And I hit my horse again. Get out of the way, horse. This is the only thing about uh, not using point to click. Click to move. Point and click to move. Or gather. There we go. And then we head back up to our little marker over here, which is going to be the beginning spot where we were to begin with. And I will move my horse out of the way. I'll gather these and then I'll end it off there. I'm not going to run through my whole energy bar. Uh, that'd be an hour and a half long video and kind of boring for anybody watching, but... These real quick and then we'll end it off here. So I hope that this was a little bit informative, if, if not boring. Um, the... The meat market's pretty volatile, and again, most people are going to recommend that you cook this down instead of just selling it, but if you're just looking for quick silver, and you have a value pack, then, I mean, why not? See, just two rotations, I'm at 1100. Let's see how much of this we can sell at once. Look at that. That's over 30 mil in just a few minutes. And I wasn't going fast, I was going slow. So, it is worth the money, uh, whether you cook it or sell it. But, you're looking at about 30 mil every couple of rotations. And if you're at the same mastery as I am. If not, then you know you can expect lower. But, give or take. Plus, you're going to get all these extra items, these sort of sharps and hards and stuff. So, that's all I got to say. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like comment subscribe you know all that stuff um uh, i will be posting more as the days go on so like always until next time